All right, so in this problem, exactly the same thing. We're going to go ahead and graph these, all right? So the first thing we want to do is identify the axis, which x equals now negative 2, right? Remember, opposite that we talked about this. Opposite of h, it's h. So these are going to be opposite values. Our vertex, you guys can see we don't have a k. So it can be the same thing as adding 0. So my vertex is negative 2 comma 0. Cool so far? So now, once we know our vertex and our axis symmetry, let's go ahead and plot it. So that's negative 2, 0. Right there. There's my vertex. Now the other important thing is I know that a is negative. So I know my graph opens down. Right? It's not going to open up. It's going to open down because of the rule when a is less than 0. The other thing, though, is if I take the absolute value here, the absolute value of a is less than 1. So it's going to be a horizontal stretch. So that means it's not going to have the same pattern as my parent graph. It's going to be a hor um, sorry, horizontal stretch. It's going to be farther out. So what exactly are those? How far is it stretching out? So the best thing that I would do is I would choose values. When we did values last, last class period, we just chose you know, kind of any random values to plug in, you know, usually the points closest to the axis symmetry. However, in this case, I'm going to want to choose values that when I plug them in for x, add 2, and square them, I can easily multiply them by 1 half. So the values that I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose 0, and I'm going to choose 2. Now let's go and check our points and see what they come in at. So I have negative 1 half times 0 plus 2 squared. I don't really need to write the 0. So 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 1 half equals negative 2. Now let's do the other one, 2. y equals negative 1 half times 2 plus 2 squared. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 times negative 1 half is negative 1 8, or negative 8. Do you guys see how it might be a problem if I chose 1? 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 1 half is negative 4.5. You can graph negative 4.5, right? It's not hard. But it's just going to be like a dot. It's not an integer. So I prefer to use numbers that are going to make us you know, have integers. So therefore, I go to 0, negative 2, 1, 2. And then I go down to 2, 8, 1, 2. And then go down 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I just reflect these points over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. OK. And you guys might not see, but this is supposed to represent a, a, a stretched out parabola in, in, in regard to that one up there. OK. But you guys see what I basically did? So it's kind of similar, but you guys can see now as far as finding the vertex and the like, axis symmetry, um, it's much easier when it's in vertex form because it's given to you. And then if you don't have an A, you can just use the parent graph to help you find the remaining coordinates. But if you do have an A, then I'd recommend using a table to find the remaining values. Okay? Huh?